Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeons 2. Alright, battle for the elven forest and the elves are being stubborn. As elves are going to be. Alright, let's get more encouragement for my servants. We have some advanced fire demons. So yay. Right. They are no longer yeah, they are working on that. They are motivating people to do as they are told. We have the summon to throne room spell. I think it's about time we actually set out and do some evil on the surface. And now that we are a little bit more reinforced. We should be able to at least clear a path to some enemy location so we can thin out our ranks. Claim some of the overworld for my own. And possibly score some evil points. Because we are really overdue for that. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that. The massive gates of Tipsy Town towered over the city. They were considered indestructible, mainly because no one could click on them at all. <laughs> there would be no way past these. Payday. Well, at least get rid of these elves. Alright, that takes care of that, but again, he is absolutely right. Alright, let's get you into our territory. But at least we got that. Yeah, we need some better demons for that. So let's go start digging through these spiders. Spiders are still quite easy to deal with because, well, I don't think it's in the main campaign, but especially some of the skirmish maps do have maps have uh, monster spawning uh, lairs. It will keep on uh, refreshing. The chaotic things. evil had discovered a gate to the surface that appeared to lead to the unicorn family. This was the opportunity for the chaotic evil to eliminate a few childhood traumas relating to my little unicorn. <laughs> well, it's probably well deserved. At least we got plenty of cash, so we can start doing some fun stuff with it. Alright, let's get some uh, basic traps going. And let's put down another lava. Alright, let's get the shield of emptiness. Enemies have entered the dungeon. And let's in the invest in the torture chamber. Alright. An old guard room with heroes has been unearthed. Oh. Not much of a guard room, is it? Right, and this is a book of work rate. Right, that will go on one of my... Where are they? Where's my fright demons?
Seriously, guys. Where are you hiding? Oh, you're being dead. Well, that, that's not good. You didn't invest all that money so you could be dead. That simply will not the do. Room is under attack. Yeah, let's not stand in the front, shall we? I appreciate your enthusiasm for helping, but do not stand in the front. Alright, let's get the invisible lurker straight. There are countless spiders pouring out of a room that was accidentally unearthed. Disgusting. Alright. Let's just leave it for now then. Alright. See someone working over here. Shield of Emptiness is done, so we can just get some more peoples. However, in the meantime, let's actually set up the admiration, or the Hall of Admiration I wanted, over up in here. So my fire demons may have a little bit of R&R &R whenever I have some space available. Well, there's at least a lot of gold here. That'll certainly come in handy. Alright, spider eggs is complete. And there comes the torture chamber. Now, I always forget the size of the torture chamber, but I think I've figured it out now. It's two by three for uh, an implement of torture. So that should be a very good place to put that. And that should make my demons somewhat less bored, which probably will increase their uh, productivity. I mean, they are uh, quite bored. Which I wager doesn't help. Your device here and then wait for some more money to pour in. Not entirely sure where to get the humans to be tortured, I just know that they are. And there's another one. And I'll probably set a couple of these across the realm as well. Because every demon wants to torture. I think. Hmm. Well, except for maybe the last demons. Because they will get the jellies by torturing some of the other demons, so they will not get bored as easily. They still get bored though, so... That's something you can to totally ignore. But for now this will have to do. Oh, they 
dock that out quickly. Oh, well, at least there's enough gold piles to go around. Alright, servants are yet again encouraged. And that's as far as I can take them. Well, nothing else for it then. Let's... Let's make sure that all my minions have something to mine. So I do tend to sometimes not recognize that uh, indeed the mines have run dry, but I think it's probably safe for now. Alright, let's go outside. Punish some ponies. Get our evil up. Hmm, dryads. Well, centaurs, but... You know... Same difference to me. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh, can't they wait? There! Yeah. There they are! And they're mine! All mine! They belong to me! <clears throat> I mean, of course, they belong to the chaotic evil. The unicorns belong to the chaotic evil now. And they didn't even have to be driven into the sea for satisfaction to be obtained. A quick beating would be plenty. Nice last unicorn reference. It's been ages since I've seen that film. The last unicorn went down, and the red ball ran close behind them, and erased any trace of them. <coughs> oh, sorry. I somehow strayed a bit off script there. The chaotic evil and its flaming legion had destroyed the unicorns. This act of evilness would be hard to beat, and inspired the legion. They soon presented plans for new and better rooms. The chaotic evil hurriedly began to improve its throne room, so he could take advantage of them. Yes, let's do that. Come on, let's get over here, dudes. Alright, we can upgrade our dungeon. There, much more evil. Did it, did it. We did kill all of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get some quality of life improvements like the Mana Shrine. And we also need to uh, investigate the summoning chamber. Because that's a room we'll definitely need. Because that's where you can get uh, the demons upgraded. Now, demon upgrading is not quite as straightforward as it is with uh, monsters, where you can just train them. It's In order for demons payday. to be upgraded, you need to sacrifice. Well, luckily, nothing too important, just some servants. But still, the sacrifice is required, which basically means you're sacrificing some gold to get the next level of demon. Because, of course, servants cost money to get into your dungeon. A minor problem, perhaps, but all the while, quite worth it. Right, summoning chamber, please. Also, uh, let's just get you investigating a spell. And I'm waiting for some money to be dug out. Alright, let's keep digging into the last unknown, the blackness. We are still healing up. Mana Shrine has been completed. Alright, sweet, let's make this room a little bit more efficient. Found some new area. Got some incoming. Oh yes, dwarves. Alright. If the dwarves want to dance, they can dance. 
dancing. If they can't dance and if they won't dance, then they are no dwarves of mine. Sweet. Alright, well, let's also get rid of these spiders. So we can speed up the evilness. Now the summoning chamber that we're gonna get, if it's not already finished. Yeah. Is uh let me get out of this menu, is it's not a room that your demons need to visit a lot. It's just some place where they can be improved or resurrected if they die on the surface. So you don't need to have it anywhere near as prioritized as anyone any other room. Alright, that took care of most of the spiders. I'd still prefer it if you take care of all the spiders. You can, in theory, just tuck, tuck away whatever you want, wherever you want it. It's part of it, big as it needs to be, really. And now we need to build a pentagram, which requires a lot of gold. But it is just a 4x2x2 by, two two building. Yeah, we uh, don't need that. So now I can demonstrate the difficult process of upgrading a demon. First we sacrifice a servant. The portal becomes active and now I drop a demon on it to upgrade it. So... Let's do that. And then goes to upgrade. Now... Upgrading takes quite a while. There is an up, uh, of course, a upgrade you can get to make it faster. Because of course there is. But I don't think I have access to that yet, so... Your mileage may vary. Alright, let's get more demons in my dungeon. really want to do is actually upgrade my uh, shadow demons because they become very useful once they are upgraded very useful indeed they will turn into mind flayers which are awesome all right and there we have our Alexandra the energetic being upgraded from a mistress into a succubus which makes her a healer of sorts. With a healing kiss. Enemies have entered the and a bewitching spell, although we, that's a spell I need to research. So let's get some more money in. Uh, whoops, no. And there's the enemy coming in. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I really should start setting up some traps over here, really. Only have the spider eggs. Alright, let's improve the mines with the stacks of gold, so I don't need to worry too much about that. And look at Blythe. Isn't he cute? Being completely invisible to the naked eye. All right, let's start further upgrading of my demons. Uh, 
And let's get let's get Flum Ignis upgraded. A little bit extra firepower would really do the trick. But we'll continue this next time. Thank you for watching.